Hi there, my name is Mauro Sicard, and today I'm going to teach you how to use icon font families on your Webflow template. Great, so let's say that you want to have a little more icon fonts for your Webflow template. Probably you want to add another social media here in the footer, or you want to add a phone icon instead of uh, social media or something like that, and you may be wondering how to do that. So in order to do that, it is actually pretty, pretty simple. The first thing that you need to do is go into your Webflow template and open the Webflow designer. Once you are in, if you scroll to the icons, you are going to see that these icons are based on icon fonts. This means the icon is actually a font or a typography, which means it is actually rendered by text. We do this in order to save load time and also in order to be able to add hover effects that are a little nicer. By default, our Webflow templates don't have any more icons available, and this is done for speed optimization purposes. However, we already created a pretty big icon font family that you can use in case you want to load a little more. So you just need to go to brickstemplates.com slash icon fonts, and you will be able to browse all of our icon families. Great. Once you are here, it's just a matter of selecting which one you want. So for example, in this particular case, I'm going to choose these square line icons because these go a little better with our technology template. Once you select your family, it's just a matter of clicking download font and proceeding with the download. Once you downloaded the icon family, just go ahead and decompress it and open that on your file manager. Okay, once we have them here, what we need to do is that we need to go into our Webflow dashboard, locate the Webflow project that we would like to add them to, go into settings, then go into fonts, and then proceed to add that font. So you can click here, upload custom font file, click upload, and then go ahead and start uploading this. So I'm going to drag and drop it. Okay. Great, now we'll click open. By default, the only one that you need to have like a general uh, compatibility on most modern browsers is the version Guav 2. But that being said, we really recommend to load all of them just so you can ensure to have great compatibility on all of the different browsers, even the old ones. So that being said, we will go ahead and upload the other ones. Uh, I'm going to select all the other ones from here. I will click open. It is going to load all of them and I will just uh, click upload font file. I will do this for all of them. And once that happens, all of the icons will be already loaded and I will have them on my Webflow account. Great. Once that happens, you just need to go back into the designer. You can click here in designer and you are going to be able to add those icons in. So for example, in this particular case, if we go into the, into the footer of the technology Webflow template, you will see that we have this, them here I can select one of those. I can go ahead and change the font because I already have a new one. Uh, I will just search for the line square icon font and I can just go ahead and add the text from here. So in this case, you can see like this all, all change yet because this icon font has different icons, but I can go back into the page from the Bricks Templates website and I can select, for example, the Facebook one in case I want to, and I can just do Control C and Control B or Command C and Command B on Mac and be able to paste them. So in here, I'm going to paste that one. And then probably I want to use Discord in case uh, that's what you are looking for. You can just paste that and the same happens with all the other ones. So that way, as you can see, you can very easily load a collection of more icons with an icon font family. And that is pretty much it. As you can see, it's actually super, super simple to load these icon fonts. And if you ever need a collection of more icon fonts, like probably you want hundreds of them in case you want to use them for a lot of different use cases, you can download an icon font family with a little more icons. For example, one of those is a font awesome collection that has already over a thousand and six hundred free icons. So this is a great choice in case you have you want to have a bigger collection of icons. However, for the moment, we compile the ones that we believe are going to be most useful for you and also with icons that go very well with our Webflow templates. So that is all for the moment. Thank you very much for watching this video and hope you have a great day.